welcome to the new and improved Fast Forward Live. Today's show features the question of the week. A new cooking show, Less Chef. Your favorite contest, What's on Your iPod, and a heartfelt interview with Richard Quay. And then, strange YouTube videos and Tech Corner. And now, your host, Chris Phillips. Thank you, the announcer has it right. I am your host on this new and wonderful broadcast. We have a great lineup for you today, but first I'd like to start off with some news. In Africa, two large elephants have been caught swimming off the coast up to two miles, which is amazing that two large elephants can be actually swimming that far, but it's the wording that this person uses. Have been caught swimming, like it's illegal, for elephants to swim off the coast of Africa. Can you imagine the locals' reaction when the police arrived to arrest two large elephants, even more so when the boats had to, act, had to pull the elephants over? and ask him to please get in the car and drive off. But now for a more serious matter. The Secret Santa has started. Our school is trying to raise its goal of $2,500. It goes to the rest, uh, uh, most unfortunate families around the Cass Valley area. So please start bringing your money. Anyway, we have a great lineup for you today. We have the Tech Corner, which I'm really looking forward to. We have weird videos for your entertainment, and we have a live interview with Richard Quay. But first, let's go over to the Tech Corner. Hey, Fast Forward. I'm Tyler, and this is Tech Corner. Every week, I'll be here to show you new and interesting technology that'll be coming to you in the near future. Today, I have the Samsung Galaxy Skin. This phone is bendy. It can twist and bend however you need it to. It even has a watch mode. You put it around your wrist, and it's a watch. It's made with a super strong, bendable metal called graphene, which is supposedly 200 times stronger than structural steel. It can even withstand a few hits from a hammer, according to the Samsung people. It uses a flexible LED screen called AMO LED, which is both flexible and brighter than the usual LED screen. As you can see in the picture, it features a built-in projector, it also features an 8 megapixel camera and runs on the Android operating system. It's currently set to release sometime in the later part of 2012. So there you have it. Pretty exciting stuff, huh? Well, that's it for this week, but I'll be back next time to show you more cool gadgets on Tech Corner. Thank you, Tyler. That was a very interesting phone. Now for a new segment that we really hope that you enjoy. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. It is What is on your iPod? What's on your iPod? Smack the back, the patty whack, back, back the iPod. Mmm, check it, check it, check it, check it. Welcome, fast forwardians, to what's on your iPod. On this segment of the show, we are going to randomly get one of you guys out of your class. Then we will give you an iPod with music on it, and you'll get to pick the song that you would like to see. So get ready, fast forward. Back to you, Chris. Thank you. We return to you in a moment, but first. We have some videos for you that we will hopefully find that you guys enjoy. So this is Weird YouTube Videos. Weird. Videos. Watching shows. Weird videos. Hey, welcome to Weird YouTube Videos. I'm Eric and I will be your host. Today we have some awesome videos. And first up, we have our funny category. Watch the clips. <laughs> so sweet. All right. We next up we have some fail videos because I know you guys love laughing at people's unhappiness. And 
for the next part, some epic wins to cheer you up. Army, bro. That was easy. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll see you next time on Weird YouTube Videos. Thank you. Now, Andy Warhol has requested a certain student to be publicly humiliated in front of the whole school, so we will now turn the time over to him. Boy, um, yep, I have something to confess about. You notice about the, about what's shattered outside, right? Well, that's the table outside, and man, it's now a pile of bricks. And it's all because of my stupidity. Man, I'm a stu- Man, I had some nice stupidity there. And I went ahead, crawled on it, basically crawled on it, stand on it, and then, woo-wee! Fell down! Bam! <laughs> well, thank you, Tankum. That was very nice of you to, you know, admit that. Uh, now, we have a special interview for you. Uh, Richard Quay is in the studio with us right now, so let's go ahead and do the live interview. Hello, Fast Forward. I'm here with Richard Quay, our special guest. And when I say special, I mean special. Richard Quay. Thank you, you Dylan. Doing? Very good. First, we'll start off with the photo. How was your feelings in this picture? Well, I was surveying the world over which I would once rule. Uh -huh. uh, of course, you can see the very dominating look in my eyes in that <laughs> photo. Now, what about the other picture that we have up here? There's a, wow, there was a close-up there. That, that showed, oh, there you go. That shows my true brilliance at a very young age. I'm already contemplating Einstein's theory of special relativity and how it affects the world. All right, now tell me about the very special pony you have here. Well, here I'm um, riding the range, which is a very important thing to do, chasing the bad guys and trying to do away with them. And you can see that tough look in my eyes, that uh, dedicated look to ridding the world of evil as I still do, even today. All right. Thank you, Rich. Thank You're you welcome, Rich. Dylan. I'll come back anytime. Well, thank you. That was a very interesting insight of visions of life and very interesting pictures. Uh, now, I think we should return to what's on your iPod. What's on your iPod? Smack the back, the patty whack back, back the iPod. Mm, chicky, chicky. Chicky, chicky. Welcome back to What's on Your iPod. Here we have Rebecca Black, and he's going to be singing the classic Friday song. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday, 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 la 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 la. <laughs> that was very nice. That Thank deserves you. a round of applause. Thank you, guys. Hold your applause. All right, guys. Next, we will have contestant number two, so get ready. Back to Chris. Thank you, and what fantastic singing that was. Anyway, uh, we have a new segment on the show for you that I've, I'm very look, much looking forward to. I hope you guys are too. This will be Le Chef. Our Le Chef show. We will be <coughs> making ice ice cream. Yes, and when we say ice, we literally mean ice. We mean ice. Ice cubes. It was supposed to be snow, but there's no snow. And so, first, you need some salt. Let's just pour that in there. Great. Okay. We got the salt. Now we and need some sugar. Some sugar. 
you know, drizzle it on, give it a nice drizzle. Ooh. Ooh. Make it even. Make it even, you know. Yeah. There we go. Some vanilla. Let's get Pour this that on vanilla. here. Pour that vanilla. A little more. Even that yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. That's good. That's it's good. wonderful. And now, some, some half, half and, and half, half to give it its ice taste. cream consistency. Indeed. And now that we've got that, we want to mix it with our lovely hammer. Angie's hammer. Which is Can't forget wonderful. that. Yeah. Gotta... Angie's hammer. Make sure you stir that. Make it wonderful. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? Oh, don't pour it on the does, table. Does, doesn't that look lovely? It looks yes. so good. I think it needs more salt. Thank you. Have a nice Take day. Take some. Eat some. <laughs> I'm sure it tastes wonderful. What amazing food that looks like. I would try it, but I don't want to be poisoned. Uh, I believe that we should go back and check in with uh, Cheyenne and Michaela out in the hall for what's on your iPod. What's on your iPod? Smack the back, the patty whack back, back the iPod. Mm, check it, check it, check it, check it. This too? Welcome back to once again to what's on your iPod. Here we have George to sing for us. What are you going to be singing, George? Justin Bieber's Baby. <laughs> All right. And I was like, baby, 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 oh, like, baby, 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 no, like, baby, 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 oh, I thought you always be my, oh. That was very, very lovely. I loved it. Good job. High five. So that concludes us on what's on your iPod. Tune in next week to see what awesome guests we will have. Back to Chris. Thank you. And that was from pretty fantastic singing, George. Uh, every week, this whole entire past week, I guess, we have been interviewing some students and asking them questions about, you know, what different types of planet they want to be or whether they would rather be a star. But we picked out the most interesting ones and we're going to read them over the broadcast live. This is live interview. Uh. Day of the week. Thank you, Chris. Hey, fast forward. Welcome to question of the re week. We went around to the school and had some qu classes to answer some very important questions. Um, and I'm here to report to you of their very creative and imaginative answers. The first question was, what is one thing that you fear? Jaden Ratliff said that he fears Bree Park, which is pretty true. The second question is, if someone made a movie about you, about your life, who would portray you and why? Some, a lot of kids said that Jim Carrey would uh, play them because it's Jim Carrey. The third question is, what's your favorite memory here at Fast Forward? Michelle said, when a bunch of my friends piled on the couch and in the lobby and Steph took a picture. If you could be a star or a planet, which one would you be? Um, Caden Staggy said Neptune, because then he would be a god, which is a pretty good answer. Well, those are our great answers, and we'll see you next week on uh, questions of the week. Well, thank you. Uh, that's it for this broadcast. This has been the new and improved broadcast. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. We'll see you next week. <laughs>